All right, good day everyone. Of course, it's too loud. So let's lower that background music and good day everyone. And thank you so much for dropping by. For those who are new to my channel, I am Mami Lala. And we, this is a special episode, part and parcel of what we call SIDA, which is craft every day in April. And we are on our day number 13. Yay! Right? So we are on our 13th day and... As uh, usual, every month we try to, as much as we can, as long as Victor's schedule is available, we have him over because we do a crafty tech show once a month, right? Hopefully, every first Saturday or if not possible, second Saturday of the month. And today we are going to, to be talking about a very special topic because this involves and would affect each and every one of us who are part of a Facebook group or owns a Facebook group. But first and foremost, without further ado, let's bring in Victor. Hi, Victor. There I am. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right. So what time did you wake up, my friend? Uh, five o'clock. So not as, not as uh, bad as four o'clock, five o'clock. Uh, okay, five o'clock. Okay, because we already moved time, right? So... There you go. Right, right, right. So rather than being six in the morning for the show, for me, it's seven in the morning now. Yes, so I, I so can I'll... sleep one more hour. <laughs> so again, thank you so much, Victor, for coming in today. Okay, so let's check in on the chat for a bit. Of course, we would like to say hello to Don. Hello, friends. Thank you so much, Don, for always being here if and ever you can right so as long as you are at home so you bring us along with you as you clean or as you do your errands thank you so much again yes good morning victor from dawn and saying hi to me as well of course sammy pie our dear moderator daughter saying hi to everybody and of course to victor again guys just a reminder if you do have questions please put them in the chat and put a Q colon before your question so that Victor and I can easily see it. Yay, there you go. All right, Victor, so let's start. So what is this, you know, go, what is this update that's going to happen on April 22nd of this year? Um, my understanding, mm -hmm. and, and, and again, something like this doesn't like bother me because Again, I'm more, I guess, techy. I I know there's like five different ways to probably still do this. <laughs> exactly. Um, but I've been noticing in Facebook, every everyone's kind of like freaking out because they're hearing you can no longer go live to Facebook groups. That that's not what Facebook is saying. Mm -hmm. What Facebook is saying is they're no longer going to support third party software to go live to groups only groups and what they mean by third-party software is like what we're using right now ecamm if you're using obs Streamyard, restream anything that is not part of facebook itself mm -hmm. they're basically saying april 22nd it, they will no longer support it for groups okay so for groups okay so normally the groups are actually very important for us and uh, for crafters and for businesses because in the groups that's where we do you know a lot of activities that's just private for the group right so for crafters that's where we post our challenges and sometimes we do you know additional classes and for businesses that's where they also do some of you know the what do you call that victor uh, exclusive things right so but as victor said there don't be afraid because there are actual ways so when you say third party apps can we clarify that again victor what do you mean by uh you can still go live but not with third party apps so how can they go live still um the, the easiest way to go live and this is one of the reasons facebook is probably doing it to stop you know supporting third party for one and also to promote you just using Facebook itself. So just like we used to do back in the day, <laughs> you will basically go straight into Facebook, start the live, pick your camera and just go live. No software, no special anything, which for some of us, that's, that's not going to work. 
we we're not going to want to use their actual you know mm-hmm. alone without software so victor, because you again say, you use multiple cameras and everything that's not going <laughs> like to work like we have 11 so victor when you say um you can go just go live on your camera does that mean oh, your phone only or also your camera from your desktop or laptop um, your phone is always going to work, and you could just use the app and just go live with your phone. But let's say, for example, if you want to bring that back up, Lala, where uh-huh. was the the share screen? Let's say no software, no nothing. I wanted to go live into a group. Well, here's Lala and my group that we go to a lot, you know, online video masterminds. You would just click on here. You would go in here. Like if you're going to create a post. a post, okay, post. Yeah. And then you got your three dots, which is going to say more. And then you got right here where it says live video. Once you click on live video, you have the option here to go live. So what you do is you click here to go live. Mm-hmm. And here's where it changes a little bit. If you scroll down, hopefully you guys could see this. It says here streaming software. This is the RTMP. This is what we're going to talk about in a little bit. But you got here where it says web camera. You just click right here where it says web camera. Now, this should work because I'm in Chrome. That's important. I tried doing this in Safari and it didn't work. But you notice it's already trying to pick up one of my cameras. Mm -hmm. If you scroll down a little bit more, I don't think you could see it because I'm too low. Here you could pick your camera. So just like when you send out your link or you do certain things, you got to pick your camera and your microphone. You just pick your camera. So you know me, I got a lot of cameras. <laughs> so we'll pick that one. And if you notice, there there I am. You could you could see me now in Facebook. Mm, okay. So you can choose your camera on your desktop or laptop or of course your phone. Okay. So that exactly. will not change. So right that will now, not change. Okay, so that now, uh, not now, right now, that, <laughs> right now, that is still what we're doing, and that can still be done in the future. So what they're that saying is that third-party apps. Okay, so now we focus on the third-party apps. What are these third-party apps, Victor? That most creators, uh, crafters use when they want to go live. Well, I believe the last time we spoke, and this one might be a little bit of a disappointment for some of you, Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned StreamYard. Now, yesterday, you know me, I'm last minute too. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I spent a few hours testing, making sure I even remember how to do this process because we've been using Ecamm for so long now. Mm -hmm. It is so easy to use third-party software, or it used to be. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Facebook. (laughs) But... One thing I found with StreamYard is in order to use it after the 22nd, to do the RTMP process, you need a subscription. So anyone that's using StreamYard, the free version, you're not going to be able to do it. And then the other method I was going to bring up, which we could do with Ecamm, OBS, and other software, but not StreamYard, to the best of I could like knowledge, the best I could find, StreamYard does not have virtual cameras. And what I mean by virtual camera, and here's a perfect example, just like I was showing you how you could just go right into Facebook, pick web camera, Mm -hmm. and just choose your web camera. When you turn on your virtual camera, when you go to select your web camera, you would just select your virtual camera. So if you notice right here, I have Ecamm Live Virtual Camera. Mm -hmm. I also have OBS Virtual Camera. So if I choose the virtual camera, that is the easiest way to bring your Mm -hmm. software in. So if you notice, here's one camera. Okay. Here's the other camera. I can still switch, now that I'm using the virtual camera, anything I do in Ecamm. Okay. We'll go to the Facebook group. So let's uh, so, slow this down. Okay, so when you say... <laughs> okay, because of course, others might like, oh, it's a virtual cam. Okay, so first and foremost, okay. what is a virtual cam? Why do? Why is it important 
you know, for us uh, in terms of going live. So what is a virtual cam? Is it not the camera that we have right now? Is it something else? It, it's 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 software. So virtual is like saying I don't know how to explain the word virtual. It just makes sense to most of us. <laughs> virtual is 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 and when it comes to virtual camera and virtual microphone, it's software. It's something that your computer recognizes and pushes out. So any mm -hmm. software or anything that you could do that would give you a virtual camera and microphone mm -hmm. like ecam you just saw i, I used it it was 100 percent simple you just pick it as your camera you turn it on an ecam you pick it as your camera i'm pretty sure uh v mix obs has virtual camera you just gotta make sure whatever software you use offers it and if you have to turn it on which we don't need to do anymore with ecam it's always on <laughs> okay, so let's try to unpack e this to our community who most of us are not really into tech so i think what victor is really trying to say is that for some of the third-party apps like ecam obs vmix except for Streamyard, right now we're not saying okay how about it, Restream? Yeah. did you check Restream? I did not check no, Restream. I don't even know if I still have a subscription to Restream, okay, but so I'll the, have the to thing look. Is, okay, so the, the nice thing about the virtual cam or virtual mic is, so some like, for example, some camera brands or some microphones, they do not have that innate ability to just be recognized immediately. Okay, by uh, the other, let's say, the platforms. So what the virtual mic and virtual cam capability that the apps have or offer is that they are the ones who will bring it in, right? So that's why it's nicer because even if you have, like, Victor, 11 cameras and so many other audio sources, he can do that. Key because the software is able to bring it in as a virtual cam or a virtual audio. I hope I hope I have been able to explain that. That's why that is very, you know, nice as uh what do you call that, Victor? As one of the perks or um it's a it's a perk. It's a perk. It, it's actually a very good perk. Yeah. Yes, and your, and your platform, yes. Yeah, it's a very good perk. And and just to elaborate a little bit more, and hopefully I don't confuse people <laughs> more, when, when, when you're using software like we do with Ecamm, you, you saw what Lala does. She'll have multiple cameras and scenes. She'll put all this stuff on the screen. If you go straight to the Facebook group and just pick a physical camera, that's all you get, the camera. What a virtual camera in software like Ecamm does is it lets you bring in your entire production. So you're bringing in the entire production from that software. And what Facebook recognizes is as is just a camera. So as far as Facebook's concerned, it's just a camera. It doesn't know any better but it's actually your entire production so you could change scenes you could change cameras you could put you know yes. anything up there and and it's 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 gonna to to the to the people in chat mm -mm. they're not gonna know the difference okay. it's gonna be like it never happened that facebook did this to us <laughs> thank you queen for subscribing so again that's basically one of the things why why we use a third-party software, right? Why we use StreamYard? Why we use Ecamm? Why we use Vmix and OBS? Because we don't want just, you know, our face, right? So we want to put, like, we want to have an overlay. We want to put in the chat and all of these things, right? Screen but share if, like we're doing yeah, now. Screen share yeah. like what Victor has been mentioning. But with the third party apps no longer going to be able to be used coming april 22 that is gonna be hard for you let's say you want to showcase your your uh, crafty um what do you call this your um your crafts right how you do it so now you will probably have a harder time if you want to change from let's say 
several cameras. Now, if you just want an overhead cam and then just your phone, I think that is still okay. So no worries because it's still on the phone. Or if it's a webcam, right, Victor? So it's just one webcam overhead. It's well, still okay. The, the, the one thing that I can't work out in my head is let's say you use zero software and you're just gonna go straight to e uh to Facebook. Mm -hmm. You you can only pick one camera. Oh, okay. okay so okay. there is no to the best of my so knowledge. I cannot change along the stream. Let's say change. I I I have not tested it, but mm. I would assume. But we could test it. Maybe we could do a, a part two. Mm -hmm. Um. I think once you're live, you you probably cannot change your camera. Oh, and okay. if you could, that still limits you to just swapping cameras. There is no overlays. There is no screen sharing. There is none of that. Only. But okay, to the no best comments. of my knowledge, once you start a live, you probably comments? can't Can make those put changes. Out the comments from Facebook? Oh, there is no putting up comments and stuff like that. Definitely. No, that's all software. Okay. You'll right. see the comments because you'll have like the the the, the Facebook uh, studio. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's not like you have to open up Facebook to see comments. You do everything through Facebook. You'll have the studio. You'll have all the comments and stuff like that. But there is not going to be any multi-streaming. It's not like you're going to get comments from other platforms, uh, any of these things. Now using the software you should still be able to get your comments from the other platforms but i believe you're not going to get any like an ecamm you're not going to get any comments or anything from facebook i believe because okay. i believe whether it's virtual camera or rtmp you're not getting cam uh any uh comments or anything so you would still have to have your software open and you uh facebook studio open at the same time Okay, so maybe Victor, if, if we can invite you over on the 22nd, <laughs> we will try and test that out, right? Okay, so we'll see if it's really going to work, what are the tweaks, so we'll probably want to test it. Again, it depends on, you know, Victor's work schedule and, you know, he, he does have a full-time job and we are in different time zones, so let's see. Hopefully he can. Victor, there's a question from Don right now. Okay, question I just saw that. Is, I wonder what the benefit uh, for FB to eliminate it for groups. Maybe they are creating something new. It doesn't make sense that they keep trying to change and limit the use. Okay, your thoughts gonna, on I'm this? Gonna, here's here's my take on it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep this clean and family friendly, because <laughs> yes, even even in my personal life, my work life, mm -hmm. Facebook has been making changes that has been making my job extremely difficult. And what it is, is Facebook starts losing money. They have to cut back on their budget and all this other stuff. So they start making changes like what they did that completely ruined my, my life and my company with, with their for Facebook portals and their Facebook portal TVs. That's another live on my own channel and I'll rant about that. But think about it as a business. It costs them money to support this process. So what's, what could they cut back on? What could they get rid of that could probably save them money that's really not going to get them attacked 100%? They're, they're, they're probably not going to mess with your actual channel or your pages, mm -hmm. but they, look, they probably look at groups and be like, you know what, out of the millions and millions of users we have, there's this small percentage that utilizes groups and goes live in groups. So let's hurt those 250,000 and not the 50 million. So that's that's my take on it. And I try to make it as nice as possible. But it, it's all about money. That's all it is. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Or uh, probably a good uh, thought also would be, are they coming up with something like their own? We'll see. We just have to see. Okay, well, they have. Yeah. They have their own. Now, Understood. would they come out with, let's say an option in their studio to start putting lower thirds and, and maybe a second camera. I wouldn't be surprised because if you think about it, with all the software that's out there, with all the web-based software, the software that you download, even cameras like my Mevos, mm -hmm. I could just go live straight with my Mevo. Mm -hmm. 
and I could, you know, put up now, not before. Now I could put up basic like lower thirds and 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 uh, graphics and stuff. So as time progresses and they see the popularity of this, I wouldn't be surprised if the Facebook Studio ends up getting a, a little more um, added stuff to it to where it might let you add at least two cameras. It might let you add a lower third or something, but I really don't see it going that f like too far. Yeah. Maybe okay, one or two little things, but that's it. A comment from Jay. Hi, Jay. So I think Jay is somehow, I think this is right also, which at some point they may charge for. So maybe they're coming up with something, but it's going to be an add-on. So I think you're probably right, Jay. Could be. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't okay. be surprised. It I'm happened sure with it's other all products. about revenue generation. It Absolutely. is. It is. <laughs> It is. And again, can you really blame them? It's a business. We, we yes, got to understand yes. that. It's it's a business. Yes. And he said, I bet they will charge. Yeah. So now it's up yeah. to us to determine, are we going to go and pay for that? Or now we go back to the next part of this show. So if they're <laughs> going to stop, okay, the third party apps, okay, from having that ability to, for us to use it and then go live, okay, to our Facebook group so we can, you know, go live and do still all the things, right? Let's say uh, right now for the crafty community, sometimes or oftentimes we do have different, like, say, challenges or summits and then it will be, you know, Facebook groups will be part of it. So they will go live in the Facebook groups with all of, you know, the demos and all of these things. Of course, they use a third-party software. So what now can we as a community, the crafting community, do to still go live on Facebook groups other than using our built-in cameras or our phones, Victor? All right. So other than using your built-in camera, your phone, or the route with the virtual camera, which some software do have, now you're getting a little tricky and a little <laughs> a little techy here. So there's a the, most software, not all, and I did check this with um, StreamYard. It's a paid service with StreamYard, but they do offer it is what they call RTMP. So what you would need to do is you would need to take whatever software you're using, whether it's Ecamm, StreamYard, VMix, you would have to add some information from this RTMP. So it's a streaming code, a URL. Once you integrate that with your software, it will send your video production okay. to Facebook, okay, but it, it, it's a lot it, more to before it. Before we yeah. become more techie, okay. First, Victor, maybe explain to us what this RTMP, it doesn't have to be the actual name of it, but what is it that, you know, makes it possible for us to go live through that? What does that thing do? Basically what it does RTMP, what it does is it takes your stream and throws it out in the internet. But you need to tell it where to go. So what you need from mm -hmm. Facebook is like saying the address. So think of it like your mail or you order something from, from Lazada. I think I said that right. Wow, correct. <laughs> they need to Very know. Good. Yes. Okay. They need to know your address to deliver it to. So what you're doing is Basically, in Facebook, you're getting the address to your group and you have to put it in your software. That way, your software knows where to send your production to. Okay. So, Victor, okay, let's tell them right now. So, right now, when we go live to our Facebook groups, we use StreamYard, we use OBS, we use Ecamm, Restream, whatever. We don't need an RTMP. Right? We just, you know, add our Facebook groups and we're we're good to go. Okay, so but with RTMP, is it gonna be the same? One hundred percent. As long as mm -hmm. as long as you understand the steps and the software you have, because m more or less it's gonna be the same. Mm -hmm. It's just you need to know, like, depending on the software you use, where to find that setup. 
And normally it's going to be, whether it's OBS, whether it's Ecamm or whatever software it is, it's, it's going to be somewhere that's going to actually say like stream or streaming. And it might be one that's going to say like custom or it's actually going to say RTMP. Okay. So this time around, Victor, maybe it's it's nicer if we can see. <laughs> okay. How oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. yeah. So you guys already know, hopefully, how I got to this. Okay. Which is so, the, the Facebook where I just went to webcam. Okay. First and foremost, what are we looking at? Is this the Facebook studio? This is the Facebook studio. So I'll go back okay. to Facebook. Okay. So I'm going to discard this. That way we're from. So this is okay. just Facebook. As you can see, we're live <laughs> okay. in Facebook. And all I did is over here, because I want to work with the groups, uh -huh. over here is, a sh is just my shortcut to the group. Okay. So if I go to the group, and and there's probably other ways to get to it. I think you could probably, uh, I think it's up here somewhere. Yeah. You see right here it says groups. Mm -hmm. So you could click on here, and it's gonna show all the groups that you're you're. Uh, I don't even recognize half of these groups anymore. <laughs> it shows all the groups that you're associated with. You okay. find the group that you want, and you click on it. Okay. So Once as long you're, as you're part of that group, it will show. Yes. Okay. You could only do this in groups you're members of. You can't just okay. jump in a group and do this. So now that I'm in the group, right here where you would normally post a comment or post something, uh -huh. you click in there and you get this pop-up for you could type. Here, let me center this a little more. For okay. you could type what your post or something's going to be. You want to go here to the three dots, which is going to say more. Okay. Once you click on the three dots, it's giving you additional options. You want to go to live video. Once you click here, this is already what they would consider like kind of like their studio. Not You're not in there 100% yet, but it's giving you options. Obviously, you're still going to go live, so you want the one that says go live. You're going to click here where it says go live. And then once it loads, this is this is the studio itself now. And you notice there's no camera or nothing showing because we haven't told it what to do yet. Mm -hmm. But if you scroll down, and I'm going to try to center this a little bit more because we are in vertical. Okay. You're going to see you got two options. Web camera, which I just showed you a little while ago, which to me is going to be the easiest even if you have third-party software, as long as it has the virtual camera, you could make sure that's on and then you could select it. That's going to be the easiest. But here you see it says streaming software. Mm -hmm. This is the one you want to check, and it's already checked. The okay. other thing is I'm going to try to scroll down more. Hopefully you guys could see this. I don't know if you could see it. Just underneath this. Here, let me see if I could maybe shrink it down and scroll because I want you guys to actually see okay, it. Okay, there. Okay, a little bit better. So a little bit more, right Victor, here, if we can go up a little bit more or down a little bit more. Let me so, try. So we can actually see this. Because I, I want you guys to see it real good. Give me a second. Okay, there. Okay, I think you guys can see it better now. Yeah. So what you what you're dealing with is is right here. It says right here, streaming key. And it's okay that you guys are all seeing this because I'm just going to reset it. That way no one jumps into our group. <laughs> Plus, okay. that's not that easy to, to copy. Okay. But the first thing I'm going to recommend, and this is not probably the default. The first thing I'm going to recommend is you go here to advance. Mm -hmm. And then right here where it says persistent stream key. To me, this is going to be critical. Because if you do not do this, there is a chance that that key will change and the next time you try to go live, it's not going to work. So you want to turn this on and all this really says is unless I reset it, this key will never change. So all you're going to do is you need to copy this where it says server URL. You need to copy this and put in your software and copy this and put in your software. So let me show you what I'm talking what about. Do you mean so put since we're our software, our I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to show okay, you that okay. now. Okay. 
Okay. So let's say our most unfavorite <laughs> software for most of us. <laughs> I'm okay with it. And I can't really shrink it too much, but okay. here, here's OBS. So in OBS, Jay's using OBS and it's so good at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in OBS and pretty much any software, you want to go into the settings. Mm -hmm. So hopefully the settings look a little bit better. Yes. So you want to go into the settings. And then if you notice, just like I'd mentioned, it says right here, stream. Okay. So you would click on stream. And then if you notice here, it says YouTube RTMP. I already use RTMP. It's what we're going to set up for, for YouTube, but we're, we're talking Facebook. Mm. So what I would recommend is when you check the box, you go to custom. I, I'm not going to trust their, their Facebook live mm -hmm. because who knows, maybe after the 22nd, that's going to be broken. I'm going to go to custom. Oh, okay. You can't see it because I'm too high. I, I would mm -hmm. always recommend probably go to custom. Okay. Once you go to custom, now it just wants the two pieces of information, the server okay. and the streaming key. Okay. So from here, you're going to want to go back into Facebook. You're going to copy the stream key. Okay. And then you're back and then on you're OBS. Gonna, now I'm back on OBS and all I'm going to do is paste the stream key. So there's there's the key. I mean the the I did the I did it backwards. I'm sorry. Not that that key don't go there. That's not the key. It's the server. Okay, <laughs> so you okay. put the server where it says server. My okay. bad. So let's go back to and jumping back and forth is a little hard. So it says here server URL. Okay. Server goes to server. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Here's the stream key up here. It's gonna start with FB. You're going to copy the key, then you're going to go back to OBS, and now you're going to put the key in there. And then you're going to hit OK. So you see, this is still StreamYard, oh. I mean, uh, OBS. OBS. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to try to move this for you can see, over here, on you still left. can't see it on the, on the right hand okay. side. I tried to make it bigger. Put it back. Right there. So it says right here, start stream. Okay. There. I'm going to click on that. Now, I don't use OBS a lot. This should work. <laughs> so you see how it says stop stream now? That means it should be working. Yes. But here's where it gets even a little more tricky now you have to go back to facebook okay. you scroll up and you can see me okay but you're not streaming yet because, oh, yeah, because you have to thing. start the stream from facebook oh okay okay so if you notice on this side you got these little green check boxes Connected to video source, complete post details, go live. We haven't hit the go live button yet. So before we go live, because all we did was tell OBS, send my feed out to Facebook. Mm -hmm. Now you have where you could put the title, test, the description, test, and now... You hit go live. I'm going to go ahead and hit go live because I think my internet could handle it. <laughs> oh, yes, you can. And, and what's going to happen is I'm actually going to go live into that group. So I'm going to hit go live. Okay, where is it? Okay. And it, it's, it's still working on it because okay, you got to remember video. the whole delay oh, yeah. now. That's it. And so there it goes. Live. So now I'm live. And if you notice the studio, now I got the chat on the, on the right-hand side. Okay. So I'm now I should be live chat. in the group. Okay, talking about that chat, Victor. Okay, so let's uh, go to this view first. So um, when we use the RTMP, so now we are actually live already using OBS. Okay, so it's a third-party software, right? So pretend it's already April 22, so we are able to do that. 
Now, how about the chat? Can we, using this RTMP, are we going to be able to bring in the chat onto the Facebook group on our screen? Okay. So just to clarify, RTMP does nothing but send your production. This is a key word. Mm. RTMP does nothing but send your production to Facebook. Mm. If you're using something like Ecamm or vMix or any software that allows you to bring comments up, you could do that. Here's the problem when it comes to Facebook. Because they're no longer going to use third-party software, you're not going to see these comments in your software. So oh. the short answer to your question is no. The long answer that I gave is why. Because comments are only going to go to Facebook Studio, <laughs> not your software. Oh, now, okay. let's say you're a channel that, and I never recommend this. But let's say you're a channel that you like to have the entire chat always on your screen. Mm -hmm. Well, you could probably just do a little screen share of the chat in your software and add it. But like oh. we do an Ecamm where you click on it and bring it up and all that stuff. No. Uh -oh. oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's no. a nice thing, right? So we can put another screen in our, you know, whatever app we're using and put the ch I, I think jay actually does that I, yeah I think in and it might be blog, safe he added a, a screen yeah. or for all the comments to come in yeah and that might be safe for a facebook group because your group is going to be exclusive mm -hmm. it's not like youtube where you're, you're going to have you know a few thousand you know who knows who mm -hmm. that might spam your channel drop links say things you probably don't want them to say so i would never recommend putting the entire chat on the screen but facebook group might be one of those exceptions or even if you do like linkedin or one of these platforms that are more exclusive and private mm -hmm. or where they're like members where you could trust people to behave not like you know, YouTube and Twitter and all this stuff where people just <laughs> say whatever. <laughs> all right. So, okay. So that is how it's going to be. So is this going to be the same way for um, others, except for us? You said you, we tried to look around with a uh, stream yard yesterday and so far you didn't see any where they, well, this yet. last thing I, this last thing I did is the RTMP. StreamYard does have RTMP, mm. but it's paid service. You can't oh, do it paid. with the free. The virtual camera is what I could not find. Now, I did see some, um, some items where it was saying, oh, you could just use StreamYard and send StreamYard to OBS and OBS to Facebook. And I'm like, you know what? No. I, it, that's something where if you're more techy and you want to mess with all that stuff, okay, fine. But that is not something I would recommend to your community because it's 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 tricky enough to to figure out the couple of things and deal with the couple of things with like the RTMP. The virtual camera is the easiest route, really. Mm -hmm. But when you start talking about using one software to send to another software to send to another software forget it <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not gonna even try to get into that one <laughs> all right so basically that is what's gonna happen guys and first and foremost i would like you all to please go and okay where is that hold on guys there this one okay okay so if you don't know yet okay victor actually this is his channel it's called basic networks and streaming or basic nas on youtube but for all the things, okay, it's best that you go to his website. And this is it. It's uh, on Linkspace. Okay, it's links.space slash. Oh, no, 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 no. Or no, no, no. basicnas.com. No, no, no. Right? Just basicnas.com. Yes. Okay, so basic I make it easy for everybody. Yeah. Com. It's actually in the description of this video. Okay, so oh, what is happening? Okay, so this is it. <laughs> so you can see, okay, uh, there, of course, his affiliate links, of course, his YouTube links, his Facebook, Instagram, and everything else, right? So if you have not checked out his channel, 
of course he is all about live streaming and a tech right so and of course recently he have he helped me actually make into fruition my dream of having my first ever craft getaway in Boracay where you know it was so tech heavy that without Victor or basic NAS I wouldn't have been able to you know um, get through with that so again thank you so much Victor okay so let's go back to the chat just a bit okay so again uh, Jay saying thanks to Wims for reminding everybody so please don't forget to of course like and subscribe and the question do you go live on facebook groups i should have asked this earlier earlier <laughs> you actually go live on facebook groups okay and then of course since uh wims mentioned that so everybody now hopefully did like this live stream and uh don saying hi to cordelia and hi to don from cordelia as well so victor okay so april 22nd this is gonna come into fruition okay so before the time comes what do you think or what can you suggest to you know crafty uh streamers or crafty people in the community who has not yet started you know live streaming or doing content maybe just a few tips about how to actually start creating content if you are you know a crafter and you want to you know do something like what me or other you know crafters have been doing um what i would basically say is don't don't overthink things at first mm -hmm. think think of think of everything as a progression the most important thing, if you haven't started, let's say, uh, uh, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, whatever platform, if you haven't started going live yet, just go ahead and go live if you have the option. Because if you're using your phone, at least here in the U.S., there's certain requirements. You have to have like so many subscribers or something like that with certain platforms. But just go live. Get your feet wet. Learn the process. I've seen so many streamers, especially from the Philippines, that do nothing but set up a phone, go live, and 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 that's it. I mean, you don't have to have all the tech and all the nice fancy stuff at first. Depending on your show, depending on what you're doing, mm -hmm. you could start with the phone. And what's nice about the phone is it's it's normally more simplistic. Mm -hmm. And if you only have the one phone, no software, no nothing. You could always get some type of stand where it makes it easy for you to take it and like just flip it down, flip it up. I know it sounds weird, but you know, you could just flip it down, show them what you're working on, flip it back up, show them your face if you want to. But until you start going live and start building that audience and seeing the, you know, seeing your, your channel grow like me, I went live as a test. I had no plan to keep my channel open past a year. The fact that I kept getting questions every once in a while, I saw I was able to help a few people. The channel's been growing little by little is the only reason I'm actually, I think, going on my third year with the channel. Yay! Just go live. Absolutely. Okay, so I hope that, guys, you have been inspired in doing that. So, um one thing that there you go my blown and the balloons <laughs> came after a million years later <laughs> all right so <laughs> yeah, it takes a while i don't know my stream deck is laggy okay again victor okay hold on let me see i think i have one that's there you go okay so i thank you so much for joining us again tonight and for all the valuable information because as you know mommy lala is not a techie person but i am slowly slowly learning things if ever hi i do have issues i you know victor is always my go-to person no matter what time of the day and i forget that of course victor also needs to go to sleep so <laughs> sometimes i wake him up and he's a very light sleeper because you know whenever something comes up then he would probably be able to answer it so i try not to you know message him really very early for him okay and uh this is don saying oh where is the comment for this one sorry guys <laughs> i forgot to fix this one because it's a new scene hold on let me remove this i want to put the comment here already there's so many layers <laughs> and while you're fixing that i just want to say 
even myself, I don't go live a lot. I do a lot of uploaded video, uh -huh. but ever since the Philippines, I wanted to go live. I think I went live two or three times mm -hmm. <laughs> for that whole trip. Work and life has just been a little crazy, but I do plan on going live at least once a month on my own channel, maybe even twice, and then eventually at least once a week because I am always, I'm always playing with stuff. Just saying, <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I got more stuff. <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, recently he just unboxed, you know, and it's now playing with the Insta 360, right? So if oh. you Yes, if you guys are interested in all of these things, you know, as crafters and, you know, if you are, want to travel and stuff like that, there's so many things that you can actually get from Victor's channel. Also, he is now putting up slowly but surely the behind the scenes of how, uh, you know, we did the craft getaway in Boracay. So if you are not yet subscribed to him, basic networks and streaming or basicnas.com, okay, uh, his website. Again, thank you so, so much, Victor. And thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. And hope to see you again tomorrow as I do origami crafting tomorrow. With that, thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day. Bye. 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 Have a good time. <laughs>